This proves doubly that Obamacare has nothing to do about American health care. It has to do about global health care. America better wake up if we're going to live in this country with any kind of freedom and liberty. It's hard to miss 60,000 pounds and 13 feet tall. The bulletproof armored vehicle is a hand-me-down from the military. It's part of a program where surplus military equipment is given to local law enforcement agencies. It's simply uh, a way to move our off around in a protected environment. Holly Lezzo calls it unnecessary. Especially trained officers who, in addition to their regular assignments, respond immediately to the most dangerous crime scenes. But IMPD is no longer using a part-time team. Its team has become full-time. Now to the battle over your Second Amendment right, with one judge saying Americans have no right to carry a gun beyond the own, their own doorstep or their house. The president at a briefing with FEMA. As hurricane season begins, uh, we have to remember that responding to a hurricane is a team effort. That the shelters are overpacked because people are losing their jobs. They're going from their apartments to homes to the city shelters. The city's homeless problem, however, is worse now than ever, according to a new report, which says that nearly 115,000 people went homeless last year, including nearly 40,000 children. He was charged with violating Orlando's new city ordinance that bans feeding homeless people gathered in large groups. Like sleeping on a park bench, eating on sidewalks, or congregating in public spaces, all crimes. This would, in effect, criminalize homelessness. The regulations are so out of control that in cities all across the U.S., you now have to think twice before giving a hungry person anything to eat. ...out there that has passed legislation that is criminalizing homelessness. City council members in Columbia, South Carolina, recently voted unanimously to give people on the streets the option to relocate or to get arrested. And they are actually arresting the homeless and shipping them to encampment centers. Shelter or prison for the homeless looking at their downtown business districts want to bring in people but at the same time let's look at addressing the root cause of homelessness not criminalizing you know the fact that someone you know just doesn't have a home because they may not have the job they may not have the money you know a lot of other cities are looking at other ways to address homelessness not you know arresting them shipping them out to someplace in the middle of no place and putting them in a shelter that may or may not be homeless jail. So yeah, well, well very it's, interesting. It's, it's not addressing the problem. You know, it's it's just uh, that mentality of locking people up and throwing away the key and trying to just forget about it and not even have to acknowledge or visually see that this problem exists anymore. Which um, you know, I just think, think is a horrifying, horrifying event. And throwing the poor, the homeless, into the prison camps, the FEMA camps. Now they have left to do is take the guns. Arm, black hawk, I told you they were coming. No Military helicopters conduct covert exercises over U.S. bank buildings. The entire city of Boston is in lockdown. In the suburb of Watertown, police with guns drawn are searching door to door. I mean, we had martial law up there. I mean, we had martial law up there. I mean, we had martial law up there. FBI and all these agents coming in, closing things down, going to people's houses. The reason to fear. The Nazis allowed no opposition. Their advantage lies in the speed of their strike. At night, they seem to appear from the darkness. Marines and sailors of the 31st Marine Expeditionary Unit's Maritime Raid Force conduct a series of urban assaults as part of a realistic urban training exercise created by Special Operations Training Group. The exercise uses aggressors, improvised explosive devices, and high-value targets in a simulated community. Defense has just issued a, a new list of uh, extremists that should be watched. 
And on that, in fact, number one, hmm, past the Muslim Brotherhood, <laughs> past Hamas, Hezbollah, number one, evangelical Christians. We begin tonight with a newly leaked U.S. Army military police training manual for what they are calling civil disturbance operations. The Army manual outlines the plan to kill rioters and demonstrators in America. That's right, they have plans to confiscate our firearms and kill American citizens on U.S. soil. This during a mass civil unrest, I guess, shooting innocent civilians perhaps. Our own military being trained for armed conflict with U.S. citizens. They're being trained to confiscate our guns and preparations to process us into camps during civil unrest. It just dawned on me and hit me now completely, 100% sure that these Google barges are prisons, concentration camps, and it turns out to be a ship at sea. And then it dawned on me that this is what these are. Just look at the aesthetic, hush hush. Why? Look at the way it looks and then go look up other prison barges. I'm gonna post a link. And I urge you people to check it out. I urge you to warn people around you. These are prison barges. These are prisons. Probably hundreds of these that are not seen yet. Anybody who doesn't get on the on, on the ball and get rolling with the program is, is gonna get shipped out. Northrop Grumman's much feared spy copters. Lest we not forget that in the past two years, FEMA has ordered over 180,000 of these prisoner containment boxcars. Brothers and sisters, and she got arrested outside and thrown in the car. Tyler went down, the cop reading her right. We have this homeless girl that we were helping. A homeless got picked up in the street by the police. He was taken to the FEMA camp, okay? And then there, while he was in there, they offered him and his friends the RFID, and his friend got it, but he refused to get it because somehow he knew it wasn't right. It wasn't right. Brothers and sisters, he refused the RFID, but they told him that if while he was sitting there in the chair, that they, that they, were, that they were telling him that if he get the RFID, he will have great benefit. He will be able to get full stamp, okay, and uh, money assistance from the government. Okay, he will have great benefit, and he, will, he didn't even have to wait online or anything. It will just go to his account, because he has the RFID, it will be so easy for him, okay, to, to buy things and just get whatever he needs to get. Right away, in the, in, the, in the government will make it to him very easy. If any man Residential center, but it looks a hell of a lot more like a prison to me. Double fences, floodlights barbed wire to keep people from getting out and at the main entrance railroad tracks just like nazi germany it's hundreds of thousands of plastic coffins so each one of those is a separate coffin stacked on top there's probably what 20 to 25 per stack how many stacks, literally hundreds of them. And you can fit four dead bodies per plastic coffin. It's basically a giant body bag. Tens of thousands of coffins. Officially, they're plastic grave liners. Seven feet long, three feet deep, with lids. The company that makes them says they're just being stored for people's pre-needs. Well, who in the hell has a pre-need for this many coffins? unless they're planning a massacre. The bodies would pile up, the military would pile in, and the concentration camp gates would open. Co-sponsored says the use of the camps will be determined by the Secretary of Homeland Security. They're telling me there isn't one FEMA camp of these in the United States right now. There are not. Um, why is it in that bill? What is exactly in the bill? Well, it talks about project. building FEMA camps, doesn't it? In that particular bill that we're talking about? What's the bill number? 
the city FEMA camps are going to build within the United States. How can a bill state that there'll be six FEMA camps built in the United States and then I'm being told there are none? I think those are our locations for if there's a disaster like in Katrina. I think that's what it is. It's not any kind of a concentration camp or anything to round up citizens. They can come and go as they please. Exactly. They won't be locked. No, no. They can go in and out because the place I saw in Texas is locked. You can't go in and out of it. Well, it's not, probably not being used either for a couple well, of years. We have films of children playing on the swings and the slides and stuff. And this one technically falls under Homeland Security. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I haven't been there. And I don't know who the children are. And the children are probably very happy. Where have we heard that before? They're probably children of the people that manage the place, I imagine. But they're not people that have been taken there, you know, by some green monsters and a machine. I have fear of my government, not green monsters and machines from outer space. I have enough fear from here. Fear none of those things which thou shalt. It's no surprise that the United States incarcerates more people than any other country in the world. If you look at the newest statistics, I think some of the findings are pretty jarring. In fact, uh, we have 6.9 million people in the United States that are either in prison. 6.9 million people in the United States that are either in prison, on parole, or on probation. So let me give you the exact numbers. Uh, the number of people in prison or parole or on probation, that's 6.9 million Americans, exceeds the populations of the second and third largest cities, that's Los Angeles and Chicago combined, or the size of the next four, Houston, Philadelphia, Phoenix, and San Antonio put together. I'll be back. You will never see it coming. That I would bring about the biblical end of days. It's expected to keep getting stronger. And because of that, the storm surge prediction is now up to 6 to 12 feet right near the path and just north of the path of the eye wall. Flash flood watches over inland areas. Hurricane warnings in effect. Port Lavaca down to Corpus Christi and south of that. Here's the official forecast track from the National Hurricane Center making landfall early Saturday morning. Look at this. It's a Category 3 storm. The first time we've had a Category 3 landfall, if it happens, uh, since Wilma back in 2005. But then the problem after that is the system basically crawls to a stop and lingers over the same area for about three to four days or so. Now, in terms of how strong we think the hurricane's going to be, most of the computer models forecasting a Category 3 storm, a couple forecasting a low-end Category 4. That's a strong one. This is a look at the wind field with the system, and as it moves in, we're expecting wind gusts over 90 miles an hour, possibly over 100 miles an hour. That's late Friday night into Saturday morning along the coast of Texas. We shall propose further cooperative efforts between all the nations in weather prediction and eventually in weather control. We shall propose, finally, a global systems of communication satellites linking the whole world in telegraph and telephone and radio and television. The day need not be far away when such a system will televise the proceedings of this body to every corner of the world for the benefit of people. Work hard. We have tremendous groups of talented people there. You've seen how the people of our country have reacted under this tremendous pressure and, and these horrible things that we call hurricanes. I thank you very much, everybody. Appreciate it. Thank you.